Drop a whisk in four steps. You're gonna learn foot power, leg action, hip action, and posture. Now, let's learn foot power. So, this standing leg here, do a mirror image, you know what that means. Turn that foot. You're gonna turn that foot. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Mm. Bam! Right there. Ow. It hurts good. Now, you can use the ball of foot behind. Ball. Replace it. Don't let this one move too much. And side turn it out. This one stays anchored. Ball of the foot. I like it. So we get and when it out, turn it out. Ball of foot, replace. Aim. Boom. Turn it out. Ball of the back foot. Boom. You're going to swivel like you're screwing a screw with a screwdriver. That left toe. Screwing? Ooh. That's a different tutorial. Excuse me, that came out a little weird. So we're on the left foot, and as you step to the side, that left foot is just going to screw right over down. Turn that toe out like there's no tomorrow. Now, the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to take that left foot, you're going to hook it behind, ball of that left foot's on the ground, and now we just replace the right foot. We're going to go side left. Again, that right foot's going to screw right over it. Boom, turn it out when in doubt. Then you have ball of the foot and replace. There we go. So we're just opening the toe, boom, get the ball of the left foot on the ground here, ball, replace. And right toe nail, ball of the right foot, boom. Okay, so that's step one of your technique, which is how to use your feet. I think we're ready to learn how the legs work. You're using the same principle that you would use for just walking down the street, which is, which of the leg has no weight, you're gonna bend it. That's how we walk around, without feeling too much. Okay, so it's the same idea, just about 14 kabillion times more intense. Let's go with leg action, super quick leg. We're on the left foot. This right knee is the one that's moving, so that knee gets the bend. Skadoosh. Then, as you step onto it, we're gonna actually stand on a bent leg. The samba has those soft legs. This one's gonna bend now because it's moving. And now, we wanna ball change, replace right. This left knee can bend because it's moving. And then, we have that straight leg on the side there. It's gonna bend as it moves. Follow the foot. And replace, there we go. Passing leg bends, lock the knees, but good, right there. And bam, a two, and one, a two. Now you practice it 14 times, go. And one, a two, a two, three, a two, four, a two, five. As you get those knees bent, a two, seven, a two, eight, a two, nine, a two, ten, a two. 11, a two, 12, a two, 13, a two, 14, a two. Good job, give me a high five. Oh, good job, you did too. Yeah. Really good. What you did was count. And you can count on this. At the end of this video, we're gonna show you how to do arm styling in the whisk. What's next? The best part, which is hip action, of course. The whisk ain't whisk if it ain't got those hips, because otherwise it would just be like boring, you know what I'm saying? I like the hip action. So, we're on the left leg here. Now, that left side's gonna rotate back as we step to the side, boom. Now, we're gonna use our right rib cage right here, our right hip action, to pull that left foot in, tractor beat it, whew, and replace, now we're ready to do a little again. Right side will rotate, boom. Left side will pull it in, Ba, ba. And we can add a little extra yumminess right there as we close, right before we close the knees. One, a two, and one, a two, and one, a two, and one, a two, and open the whisk because that will make it more sexy when the hip rotates. Turn it around, point the toe as well, and get the legs right, get the hips right, get everything right, <laughs> and that's it. See, if you master it, then you'll have perfect technique. Like I do with my feet. Whoops. Now that we've got the first parts, which is feet, legs, hips. How in the world do you dance with good posture? Hey, you know what you gotta do? Well, obviously you gotta stand up straight. Now, when you wanna have good posture, one of the biggest problems is your eye focus. Okay? My head tends to follow where my eyes are. So if your eyes are at your own eye level, you're gonna have good posture. That's actually pretty hard to do, especially when you're just walking around town. So we need to keep those eyes at 
your own eye level 24 hours a day. So how do you do that? Well, just go ahead and find things that are at your eye level whenever you're looking around. When you might be sitting at the desk for eight hours like this, well, guess what? That eight hours was practice in back posture. So if you imagine that you're like Indiana Jones, and you're like in this cave, and you have to pass through, you know, this sliver of space in between two rock walls, and you're like, how good is your posture gonna be, hey? Very good. Very good. So imagine that. Do imagine that. You have to imagine really hard because there's never been any Indiana Jones with that particular scene. Okay, maybe it was Back to the Future. Yeah, I'll tell you which one it was in. Yeah. Godzilla! No, Inception. We're gonna practice the whisk again, and we're going to use those eyes and our stretch in our back. Here we go. And one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one. That's it. Three. Oh, well, that's enough of that. You get the idea. Now we gotta put it all together with some music. Smiling, because if you're smiling, you're gonna feel happier. Ah! 